okay let's start in the last class uh, you are talking uh, about rank level fusion okay in rank level fusion uh, we have uh, discussed uh, different strategies for rank level fusion and then uh, we have discussed uh, discussed on uh, bayes rule or bayes theorem so this bayes theorem is uh, uh, used for uh, rank level fusion where we uh, fuse the uh, likelihood ratios uh, of different matchers okay and uh, this uh, bayes rule is also uh, used for score level fusion so uh, in the last class uh, we have uh, discussed how uh, we obtain the likelihood ratio from bayes theorem okay or bayes rule now uh, this likelihood ratio can be used for uh, rank level fusion as well as for score level fusion so here uh, here uh, we can use uh, the bayes rule for uh, bayes fusion uh, in rank level fusion okay so uh, bayes fusion rule uh, is a supervised rank level fusion technique which is based on uh, bayesian in inference so here what we do we, here each of the possible user identity is ranked according to the fused rank score computed <coughs> by <coughs> likelihood ratio okay so here we use the likelihood ratio so first we obtain the likelihood ratio of the genuine scores and imposter scores okay and then uh, we obtain the uh, log of this uh, log of this likelihood ratio and uh, finally we uh, get the sum uh, sum over the different matchers okay so here mk small mk uh, is the fused rank okay and capital n is the number of matchers and uh, we get the log of the likelihood ratio of genuine scores and imposter scores so here uh, here we get the imposter score uh, which is uh, uh, from which we obtain the probability uh, probability where the imposter uh, user would be ranked to mki by the i hat matcher and uh, we get the probability for genuine score uh, for uh, that a genuine user would be ranked to mki by i hat matcher okay these two likelihood probabilities are computed uh, from the training data during training phase so this likelihood ratio nothing but the conditional probabilities so we get the conditional probability on genuine score we get the pro conditional probability on imposter score then we get the likelihood ratio we take the log of this likelihood ratio then get the sum over m number of matchers okay so that's why we initiate uh, initiate uh, discussion on uh, bayes rule because bayes rule here we use the bayes rule for uh, get the fused rank mk uh, for rank level fusion so here we can uh, see that uh, in the last class uh, we have uh, told about this problem statement on rank level fusion where uh, we use these four different uh, rank level fusion method highest rank method borda count method weighted borda count method and bayes fuse uh, method so here uh, uh, you can see for uh, bayes fuse method that uh, fuse rank scores are obtained for five different identities okay so these five different identities uh, having their few score uh, which, which are indicated by ma mb mc md and me okay so these are the fused rank score for five different user identities then we get the combined rank so combined rank uh, is obtained from this fused rank score so here uh, we get the combined rank one for user d okay so because the uh, user d is having huge rank scores uh, 1.47 okay so for 1.47 here uh, one thing you have to remember that uh, for base fusion method uh, for rank level fusion whenever we get whenever we get the 
maximum value so that maximum value will be assigned combined rank 1 okay then next maximum value then small next small maximum value then next small maximum value so in this way we will rank the we will get the combined rank using best fusion method okay Any questions from here? So can you please repeat that uh, solution? Which one? Base fusion rule? Yes, sir. Yes. This one? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you got this, uh, you got this concept on likelihood ratio based core fusion? So slightly. So, okay. So we are. Uh, I think uh, we have already discussed this in the uh, last class. So here, uh, omega zero and omega one is the imposter imposter class and genuine class. Okay. Then we get the. Then we compute the prior probabilities on imposter class and genuine class. So uh, that is called p omega zero. So p omega zero is the prior probabilities of imposter class and uh, P omega 1 is the prior probabilities on genuine class. So after that, we get the conditional uh, probability or conditional density function for imposter scores and genuine scores. So before that here in this uh, in this image, here you can see that the scores distribution for genuine scores and imposter scores are made. Okay. So here we uh, here we plot the genuine score and imposter score and uh, here we will have a decision boundary. So this decision boundary is works for uh, two different matcher, matcher one and matcher two. So from matcher one and matcher two, we compute the uh, imposter score and genuine score. And imposter score, both imposter score and genuine score are plotted uh, on xy uh, on xy uh, plane. Okay, then we get the decision boundary. So this decision boundary is separate the genuine score from imposter score. We can see some imposter scores which are found in the area of genuine scores and some genuine scores are also found in the area of imposter scores. So irrespective of decision boundary, so there will be some scores uh, which will be found in the merging area, okay, or in the overlapping area. Now from this imposter scores and genuine scores, we obtain the conditional density function or conditional probability. So this is denoted by uh, P of S when W omega zero is given. Okay. And probability of S when omega one is given. So here omega zero represent the imposter class and omega one represent genuine class. Then we obtain the posterior probability. So this posterior probability will be uh, computed from the given conditional probability or conditional density function and prior probabilities or marginal probabilities. Okay, so here uh, we uh, compute the posterior probability uh, p of uh, omega j when s is given. Okay, so that can be computed from uh, the conditional probability using base formula. Now we apply the base formula. Okay, to get the posterior probability. So posterior probability omega j omega so here yeah, j means zero and one because uh, zero represent uh, omega zero represent imposter class and omega one represent genuine class. Therefore, the value of the j uh, will be either zero or one. Okay. So uh, for both imposter class and genuine class, we compute the posterior probability. So here posterior probability omega j when s is given will be equal to Conditional probability P of S when omega j is given, this will be multiplied by the prior probability P of omega j. Okay, now this will be divided by P S, so probability of S. So this probability or is the, uh, this is called the marginal probability or uh, this is called the normalizing constant or normalizing factor. Okay. Now we can decide about the class. Uh, we can decide about the genuine class or imposter class um, uh, by this condition. 
so whenever uh, so we can decide about omega 1 omega 1 represent the genuine class okay so so the uh, <clears throat> the unknown identity or the is to be verified uh, will belong to genuine class when the probability of uh, posterior probability of one when s is given will be found to be greater than probability of omega g the posterior probability posterior probability on, on uh, imposter score then we assign the identity as genuine identity okay that means that identity or that subject will be accepted by the system as genuine subject or genuine person otherwise that person or that identity will be assigned imposter so that means uh, that uh, that uh, imposter uh, subject will be rejected by the system in place of posterior probability we can write uh, prior probability p of omega 1 that will be multiplied by the conditional probability p of s of uh, s uh, probability of s when omega 1 is given okay now this multiplication whenever this multiplication will be found to be greater than will be found to be greater than the posterior uh, prior probability which is multiplied by the uh, conditional probability on imposter score then also we can assign the identity of the subject as genuine subject okay now we can use this conditional probability p of s when omega 1 uh, omega 1 and omega 0 is given so this ratio of the conditional probability can be termed as likelihood ratio so whenever uh, prior probability p of omega 1 and p of omega 0 is found to be equal then we can have this likelihood ratio on conditional probabilities on uh, genuine score and imposter score we can also assign the identity as genuine identity whenever this ratio will be found to be greater than 1 okay otherwise uh, whenever this ratio will be found to be uh, less than equals to 1 then we assign omega 0 uh, and this omega 0 represent the imposter class okay now after having this likelihood ratio here we compute the uh, fused score mk okay for base fusion rule and this base fusion rule is used in rank level fusion okay so here mk uh, will be equal to summation over log of this log of likelihood ratio so likelihood ratio is obtained on genuine score and imposter score okay whenever the likelihood ratio is obtained on the conditional probabilities for genuine score and imposter score then we take the log of this likelihood ratio okay so uh, log of this likelihood ratio will be taken on uh, taken the matcher every matcher i okay so i will vary from 1 to capital m so here capital m is the total number of matchers so here matchers means fingerprint is one matcher face recognition is one matcher iris is one matcher palm print palm print is one matcher so there will be m number of matchers and we are going to fuse this m number of matchers for one purpose so whenever we use this base rule for rank level fusion then in the rank level fusion we get the summation over the log of this uh, likelihood ratio okay now it is clear to you yes sir yes sir okay so here you can uh, here you can see the problem statement so in the problem statement all the values are given okay for every matcher so from this matcher you get the uh, you get the uh, different uh, values and these values will be uh, fused together 
for uh, uh, few to get the few uh, rank score okay for uh, different uh, user identities and after that we get the combined rank so here combined rank is the final rank okay and this uh, combined rank will be based on the fused rank score for different user identities so now we will talk about the uh, feature level fusion <coughs> so uh, whenever this uh, feature level fusion will be compared with the sensor level fusion or uh, score level fusion then we get that in feature level fusion we obtain the features neat and clean neat and clean means uh, whenever we go for uh, sensor level fusion in sensor level fusion we uh, collect the raw data then uh, then we fuse uh, those raw uh, those uh, uh, raw uh, features uh, at uh, low level fusion okay and those uh, raw information or raw uh, features will contain the uh, noisy data but in case of feature level fusion so after pre processing we get the uh, we get the clean data clean data means the clean features okay so uh, this clean features will free from uh, any noisy data or irrelevant data so here the advantage of feature level fusion is that we uh, get the uh, we, we obtain the fusion before uh, matching and uh, we use the we use the data which is free from noisy data or irrelevant data okay so here in feature level fusion uh, we take uh, uh, we take uh, m number of uh, feature sets so which are extracted from m number of uh, matchers okay so here you can see that there are two components enrollment and authentication so in case of enrollment we get the feature sets from extractor or m number of matchers okay so here we term uh, here we term this uh, feature set as extractor 1 uh, feature extractor 1 feature uh, feature extractor 2 and up to feature extractor m now this m number of vectors or m number of feature sets are fused together so we can fuse them uh, together by concatenation so concatenation means one feature set will be then the next uh, appended at the end of the uh, second feature set and so on so in this way we can get a consolidated feature set or concatenated feature set uh, together and this concatenate or consolidated feature set will be used for matching okay so here uh, in the fusion module feature level fusion module we get the consolidated feature set and this consolidated feature set is used for uh, uh, matching part in in authentication uh, in authentication component or authentication subsystem you get authenticated from that person from that L level fusion module and this consolidated feature set uh, will go to the uh, matcher module and the matcher module we compare we compare two sets of consolidated feature sets which are obtained from enrollment phase or enrollment subsystem and uh, authentication say authentication phase or authentication subsystem okay so here we compare means we get the distance between these two consolidated feature sets okay and whenever we get the distance and this distance will be compared with the threshold in the decision module and whenever uh, decision module will take the decision
that So here uh, we can see an example of feature level fusion. So here uh, we have feature vector x1 and uh, feature vector x2. Now we will uh, concatenate these two feature vector uh, together uh, for getting the consolidated feature set. Okay. And before uh, concatenation or before uh, consolidation, uh, we need to normalize these feature sets. Okay, because uh, we can uh, see in uh, feature vector uh, feature vector x1, so there are uh, different values or uh, matching percentage are given, and in feature vector x1 uh, we have the probabilities. Okay, now these two when these two feature sets, so uh, this is incompatible feature sets. Okay, now to make these uh, compatible feature sets, we have to normalize these two feature sets that means the elements uh, within this uh, feature sets will be normalized so we can apply uh, different normalization techniques so, yes yeah could you share the slide yeah yeah i will i will yeah, i will share the slides okay i will send I'm, all the slides uh, to your mail id uh, yeah but uh, sir uh, sir can... right now sir Oh, sorry. Okay, 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 okay. Actually, there is a network issue every time. Uh, then uh, due to interruption it get disconnected now you can see now you can see the slide yes sir yes sir but your voice is breaking continuously now you can see the slide yes sir again the same problem yes sir i need to have better uh, here 
again it's now breaking, my, now my voice is okay no sir it's breaking ah, voice is breaking bit. yes sir now you can see the slide yes, yes sir. sir okay so uh, let's have an example on uh, feature level fusion so here we can see that there are two feature sets feature vector x1 and feature vector x2 okay now feature vector x1 uh, x1 is containing the elements uh, in terms of matching scores okay and feature vector x2 is having the uh, scores in terms of probabilities now these two feature vectors are found to be incompatible uh, for fusion to make uh, these two feature vectors compatible we need to normalize their scores okay uh, whenever we normalize their scores uh, we get uh, their scores uh, in a in certain range within a certain range so uh, we can apply different normalization techniques one such technique is min max normalization techniques so after getting the normalized data or normalized score we go for feature level fusion now this feature level fusion is uh, is performed by concatenation okay so one uh, uh, so we get the uh, first feature vector normalized feature vector then we append the second feature vector at, at the end of the uh, first feature vector okay and then we get the consolidated uh, feature vector uh, or concatenated feature vector concatenated feature vector directly for uh, getting the distance or getting the similarity score or we can we can apply feature selection technique or feature reduction techniques so after uh, feature after applying feature selection techniques we can have a reduced number of uh, features feature set and we call uh, we call this feature vector uh, xf okay so xf uh, xf represent the fused feature vector now uh, now we will talk about the score level fusion so in score level we have just uh, we have just uh, discussed uh, about the rank level fusion uh, feature level fusion then uh, in, in if we compare this score level fusion with feature level fusion or rank level fusion then we see that feature level fusion is done after having after uh, having the matching module that means uh, after matching we get the matching proximities or matching scores and, and those matching scores are fused together in Uh, score level fusion so uh, uh, similar to uh, feature level fusion here we get the enrollment phase or enrollment subsystem and authentication phase or authentication subsystem okay so first we get the feature extractor so feature extractor uh, will extract the features then uh, we perform the matching so after matching uh, for m number of matchers scores so the, those matching scores uh, are represented by s1 s2 uh, up to sm okay so here you can see that here uh, we have written s equals to s1 comma s2 up to sm so this s1 to sm are m number of matching scores which are obtained from m number of matchers okay now we go for score level fusion now score level there are uh, different score level fusion techniques one such technique is some uh, some fusion rule okay another techniques are available like max rule min rule okay adaptive fusion techniques so if we apply the sum rule sum rule means all the all the uh, matching scores which are obtained from uh, m number of matchers will be uh, will be added together okay so we get the sum of all these matching scores if we apply uh, max rule or min rule we uh, select the maximum matching scores out of m number of matching scores if we apply
simple fusion technique then we get the minimum magic okay sir then we, uh, op, uh, then we uh, go to the matching mod uh, decision module in the decision module we will have sir your, me, sir your voice is breaking sir your voice is breaking continuously voice is breaking yes sir so last what we heard was the maximum and minimum was after that it was all break on now you can listen me correctly now 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 my voice is breaking yes sir okay your your voice is also breaking devasi sad then it's a network issue <laughs> Yes. Hello. To fix this problem, otherwise uh, classes cannot be uh, conducted smoothly. I have to fix this problem. Yes, sir, but if the network uh, network is not in our hands. Sir. No, no. I will I will fix uh, by myself here. So. Oh, sorry, sir. From sorry, here. Sir. I thought it was not mine. No, 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 no. <laughs> your network is okay but uh, here uh, there here is a problem sometimes there is an interruption here so whenever uh, there is an interruption so i get uh, the net disconnected sometimes okay so let me finish easy for you to upload the classes on youtube only So no. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You are, you are audible. Um, this thing. Okay, you tell me. This. Oh. oh, no, no. How you want? No, no. You, 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 you tell me how uh, you want my video lecture in YouTube or in other media. Sir, so everywhere will it would be fine. If you want my fine, video lecture uh, in other media, we can have at least. at least uh, some kind of uh, like uh, uh, problem solving uh, sessions with you or like doubt clearing session with you uh, and we can watch the videos or whatever you upload over youtube or uh, on moodles or uh, at uh, gmail only and we can see that from there and after that uh, whatever we have problems we can have a doubt clearing session with you and it would be no i regularly i Okay, okay. Listen to me. I regularly upload my videos uh, on YouTube. On YouTube, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. We so all you can see all my video one. lectures in YouTube. But sir, over there also okay, the then... class lecture is uh, like the uh, like I watched the uh, last video over the YouTube, and the audio mm -hmm. was breaking over there also, sir. Like some audio was missing in between. So I am telling you now. I have to end here. Okay, so, uh, sir. So after uh, after, uh, sir, if you are uh, recording it live, then it's record the sound which is uh, over there over the network. But you, if you record it uh, otherwise and then upload it, then it would be better. Like offline, uh, uh, offline recording and then uploading it online. Okay. 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 Sorry, sir, but I can't hear you. Let me. figure out this problem in this way that uh, i either i can uh, uh, okay then upload it okay so this will be sir your voice is still breaking done so offline isn't it this will be done offline sir, first i record uh, my uh, video uh, first i record my Hello? letter uh, it will be upload or uh, i can can't hear you this network problem can listen sir. sir we didn't heard you sir sir but we can't okay we didn't listen what you have said sir hello Sorry, sir. yes sir yes sir but network is on network is on over here you cannot still can you cannot you, still sir. listen me uh, now we can hear you sir can you please repeat okay it okay let, let's uh, Okay, okay. Let's uh, fix this network problem first. Okay, let fix yes, this sir, network problem. Otherwise, uh, otherwise I have another option. 
uh, i can i can uh, record uh, every lecture then uh, i will upload e upload it on youtube yes sir, so that, that can be, be done sir. yes sir uh, along with that you can share us the ppts for reference a ppt i will send you send you yes, to your yes, mail sir. ids yes sir yes sir there is that no would be best option sir okay yes sir yes sir definitely so better better to uh, better to let me fix this network problem first if this is not done okay if this is not done then i can go for uh, recording my lectures and upload it on uh, youtube yes sir definitely sir that would be better yes sir that would okay. be really better sir. yes sir. so let's have end this uh, okay let's have end this session today okay because uh, there is a network issues uh, so i cannot take uh, class with interruptions so better to let's have uh, end this session okay so in the next yes. weeks uh, i think uh, network network uh, problem will be solved okay sir we okay we wait for that okay. so in the next week yes, uh, we will okay, we will uh, will be online on wednesday okay sir okay okay sir okay yes sir Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Happy Diwali. Thank you. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali to you all. Happy Diwali, sir. Thank you, sir. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali, sir. Happy Diwali, sir. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali.